Hey guys! In this video, I'll teach you how to create a dynamic slider in Wix Studio that's both functional and visually stunning. I've already prepared the background and elements, so this time we can jump right into designing the slider. So go to Add Elements and add an image and adjust its size and position. Replace it with the prepared flavor image. Click Mask and select the one that suits you best. Create duplicates for other variations as well and replace images. Once it's done, select all and click Stack. Scroll down to Layout, add spacing and align it. And change the position type to Pinned. Now we'll be adding our fruits and cans. Go back to Add Elements, add another image and adjust its size and position. and replace it with the prepared fruit image. Now add one more image for a can. And replace it. Select them both and click Place in Container. Rename it to Main Image for convenience. Now duplicate the container and move it down. Then hide the main one and change the name so it fits the variation. Duplicate it and repeat the same steps for the remaining options. Now moving on to animations, watch closely. Click on the circle and select the click effect. Then change animated element to the container. Choose the move animation and adjust it. Don't forget to change from to into here. Let's add another animation. Change animated element to the corresponding can and choose expand. Adjust it. And after that we'll add another one so our circle starts multiple animations at once. Change animated element to the fruit image. Select the expand animation and adjust it. Keep in mind that the product need to match the circle and corresponding elements. Create the same animations for other products. Remember that all the variation elements work together so they need to be connected. Now that all the animations are added, we're moving on to a very important part. We'll set it up so each circle resets all other animations except its own. Click on the watermelon circle and reset all the animations except its own. This way each circle will only play its own animation, ignoring the others.
Repeat the same steps with the remaining circles. Once everything is done we make the main image visible again so that an object is displayed right after the page is loaded. Choose stack and change animated element to our main image so it stays visible until a circle is clicked. And here it is! Now you know how to create a dynamic slider in Wix Studio. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.